Okay, we're coming into the Judge Morris Estate here, part of White Clay Creek State Park, and you can see right there. If you park here, you gotta pay a fee. So I actually came in from Middle Run, which is free parking. And I'm hitting the Chestnut Hill Trail. I'm gonna ride it clockwise, which in my opinion, it flows best that way. And it's basically just a loop, probably somewhere around three miles total. But it's got some really good flow. Cool section down along the creek. Kind of actually takes you into Pike Creek. So you'll drop in first, climb a little, and then you get into the flow. So if you take it clockwise like I'm going to, you know, see what I mean? Here's where it will come out at the end. So I'm heading clockwise now. There's a bridge back there. Probably went by it pretty quickly, but that's where you finish the whole loop. Okay, so yeah, here we go. Chestnut Hill Trail, clockwise. Might as well just call it a loop. Probably looks flat on camera, but I'm definitely climbing a bit here. Nothing crazy, but it is a gradual incline. All right, so trail's gonna tee here. So to keep on the loop, go right. And this section here, when you ride it clockwise, is the best in my opinion. So the next mile or mile and a half, it gets pretty good. And, uh, per the usual, I'm gonna just warn them, hikers and climbing bikers, as you get into the faster stuff. This is a, at least over the years, what I've seen, this is a, popular hiking route. See, seem to see more hikers in here than I do bikers when I come out here. I guess long story short, just keep your eyes down the trail, keep your speed in check and be careful. Because it can get fast in here. Still climbing a little bit right now. Fragile. Stay right here. It's just a short connector. All right, here we go. Pick up a little bit. Here. Yeah, it's definitely drying out a bit and getting loose. Could use some rain. Looking down the trail, I don't see anyone. Let's just keep this pace. See, it's this kind of tight and twisty stuff that makes it so much fun. Especially if you can hold your momentum.
Okay, there we go. That was a good section. And here's some packed through the gathers, split off here. And I'm just doing it for the walk over. But you can see the main trail where it breaks off. To the left of me back there was a connector of some sort. I never go on those connectors, so I don't know where they come from or go to. All right, so now we're coming into a section with some blind turns, so you gotta be really careful through here, which is easier said than done, because it's so easy to pick up speed in this. You can even launch off some of these routes. But if you're going fast tonight, say 10 or 15, just keep your eye way, out, way down the trail, as far as you can see. here. Oh, that's a good jump. Woo, that's a good one. Man, I'm glad I saw that. Maybe a good foot or two drop there. Never knew that was there. But see, when you keep your eyes down the trail, you get rewarded. Yeah, it's still going now. I'll take turn there. And the only tech really is roots. Coming down to the creek, right here. How are you doing? Hi, how are you? I'm great. Shouldn't be anyone behind me. Okay, thanks. Have a great day. All right, got this far. That's the first hikers I've seen. Oh, we got some trail runners up. Bike, come guys, bike. Thank you guys. Just one? Yep, just me. Just one. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Yep. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Yeah. See, bikers and hikers should get along. Let them know it's coming, they got out of the way, and it's all good. Because technically they have the right of way. This section I like here because you're along the creek. And you got this flow here with some exposure. And you keep your momentum and you can carry yourself back up. You know? Yeah, we're flowing well. Really enjoying this today. Weather's perfect. Not a lot of people out. We made it 95% of the best part of the trail for running into any hikers. Okay. I think this is the first bridge we've crossed, yeah. Because he other bridge will be at the end of this clockwise loop. Okay, yeah, so there is a connector here. So when you come to this T past that bridge, you want to go right, stay on the Chestnut Hill Trail. All right, there's another T here. 
so go left. Or I guess it would be more stay straight. Because that trail will take you up to the trail we just came in on. So I guess it'd be good to go that way if you want to session something on the other side. Otherwise, if you're done, just keep going. This section built up right here. It's swampy in that area. Low grounds to stay muddy year round. It's a very well maintained trail. If you're looking for steeper, more technical terrain, this isn't going to be for you. It's just good. Northern Delaware flow, like right now. Get some momentum and just hold it. All right, so we're working our way around. We should be coming to the end point soon. crossing that bridge and climbing out back to the parking lot. So if you're wondering how to get here from Middle Run is the easiest. Park at Middle Run and Snow Goose. Off the Snow Goose is a... How you doing today? Thank you. There's a Tri-Valley Trail connector it over here and it runs along Possum Park Road. Okay, here is the bridge. So this is where we technically started. So I'm just gonna call that a ride, call it a loop. That was Chestnut Hill Trail. The Judge Morris Estate, part of White Clay Creek State Park. And we rode a clockwise. And I believe on Trail Forks, clockwise is Green Road. So, thank you for watching.